Hey Ross World, today is May 30th, 2018. I was actually reading um, some stock news today and I saw that Italy is going into a debt crisis and I was like, great, right? I'm not actually wishing that, you know, Italy falls. Their stock market is going through a huge rift, right? And anytime any country's stock market or their country goes into like great debt, this is the opportunity to buy stocks. Now granted, don't go on the Forex trade market and try to buy because you really need to know a lot about international investing. But look up some Italian stocks that are listed on the New York Stock Exchange as well as the NASDAQ and buy Italian stock, especially when they dip. Because like record always, not just the US stock market, but stock markets around the world, once it dives, once they go into a depression or a recession, they always bounce back at a high percentage, except probably Japan. I think they're still recovering. It's been a long time in Japan. But the point I'm making is this, this is the opportunity to buy. When somebody else loses, okay, somebody else wins. This is a Warren Buffett thing I read years ago. And you guys read it too. You know, you got Jeff Bezos, the Amazon guy. You got Ray DeLalo. I think he's the Vanguard guy. But they always say when the stock market prices drop, right? Because you're buying stuff. When they drop or they go on sale, like take a famous stock like Micron. It's, it's hot right now. But I bought Micron at 40 something dollars. Right now, Micron is $62, I believe. But it was fluctuating. Now, the recession hits, you have to understand that these stocks are going to bounce back. But right now, we're talking about Italy. Italy, I hope you guys bounce back because I might have some stocks on our stock exchange and I want the price to go up. But nevertheless, guys, I just want you to understand with all these stock markets around the world and you hear stock market news and you know that there are some stocks on our exchanges, it's an opportunity to buy and make some money. Now, very quickly, I want to give you information. There's a Chinese Netflix. It's not Netflix. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's IQ. I Y I I Q I Y I that is the Chinese Netflix. I bought some and is making decent money. Now, granted, don't forget, I bought Alibaba. The ticker is B A B A and it's the Chinese Amazon and I've made good money off of that as well. So listen, guys, you have to diversify your portfolio. You have to take advantage of other countries when they do well because their stock market will bounce back. You have to understand how these things work in order to make money and continue it. I'm not saying be obsessed with it. I'm not saying watch it every day, but get your ears to the street so you can make some money. I'm out.